I spoke today about uh, the interface between advanced liver disease and cardiovascular disease and focused on four key syndromes that sometimes occur in association with advanced liver disease. Those included the development of hepatopulmonary syndrome, portopulmonary hypertension, cirrhotic cardiomyopathy, and finally, the emerging field and association between non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and cardiovascular disease. One of the emerging uh, areas in uh, the association between advanced liver disease and cardiovascular disease is a recognition that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease on its own can lead to the development of a whole slew of cardiovascular problems. This includes worse outcomes in patients who present with myocardial infarction. It includes the fact that there's a higher incidence of uh, arrhythmia, such as atrial fibrillation, in patients with non-alcoholic uh, fatty liver disease, and even the incidence of stroke. So recognizing that there is this association and being very proactive in treating any underlying conditions that predispose patients to any of these cardiovascular abnormalities. I think some key points here are, first, that in any of your patients who have advanced liver disease, who may or may not be considered for transplantation, that you need to perform an echocardiogram to screen them for the syndrome of hepatopulmonary syndrome or portopulmonary hypertension. The other critically important point is that in patients who have fatty liver disease, that it is critical to be very aggressive and proactive in treating underlying uh, symptomatology or conditions that can lead to cardiac problems, such as hypertension, uh, atrial fibrillation, uh, or obesity. So addressing those problems up front can be very helpful in preventing bad cardiovascular outcomes in patients with advanced liver disease.